stabilization equipment, braking equipment, the jaws of life that consist of a spreader, a cutter, a hydraulic ram. And in order to stabilize vehicles, we would use a V-struts, step chocks. Equipment plays a big role, but experience, dedication and training, that's everything that comes together. I'm a station commander, I'm based at Kudut Fire Station. Vehicle extrication is basically uh, when two vehicles collide on the roadway. Uh, usually persons either they get trapped, they are injured. Uh, that's where the incident commander of the fire engine would arrive at the incident, secure the area, make sure that he mitigates all hazards and then formulate an extrication plan with his team of firefighters. That will basically entail um, whether we're going to do a roof flap, a side takedown, in order to get the patient out safely and perform um, medical treatment and get the patient to hospital as soon as possible. And it's an honor and a privilege to represent our city and our country at the next World Rescue Challenge held in Spain. There are teams from all over the world that gets invited to participate at the World Rescue Challenge. Currently, we are still the national champions. We participated in five challenges and the display or scenario that you've now seen is basically in preparation for the upcoming World Rescue Challenge which will be held in Lanzarote in Spain and the team will be participating there. The Cape Town Destroyers team is actually the only team from the city of Cape Town and South Africa as well as Africa participating in this huge international challenge. It is uh, very beneficial for us as a team to go there and also attend all their workshops. We could learn quite a bit and then bring it back to our own staff in order to deliver better service to our communities in case of any extrications or rescues that we had to effect as a fire and rescue service. The World Rescue Challenge is basically judged on three uh, sections in the vehicle extrication, which is the first one is the incident commander. He is basically judged on, is he keeping the team safe? Is the uh, scenario safe enough for the team to operate? So, an overall safety of the scenario. Then there is the technical. The technical is basically judged on cutting up the vehicle. Um, you know, are you doing a side take down, a roof flap, and opening up the vehicle with the biggest possible space to get the patient out. And the last part is the medical. The medical gets judged on patient care. The patient needs to remain calm. So it is how the patient is treated in the car and also whilst extricating the patient, you know, not hurting the patient any further.